Hey guys, it's Sonia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to draw a mermaid. If mermaids really existed, and who says they don't? If they lived their entire life underwater, they probably look pretty creepy. I mean, wouldn't you? But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to draw the mythical, beautiful creatures they're said to be. So, let's get going. Big announcement. It's coming soon is the Wizards Challenge, where I'm going to be doing a ton of episodes with multiple wizard or witch-related DIYs. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified when that comes out. So I'm going to start by drawing the rock that I want my mermaid to sit on and then basically draw her as a stick figure. And also do me a favour, like this video, it doesn't cost you anything and it makes me happy. So let's get going, let's go. I want my mermaid to be brushing her hair so her arms are going to be holding her long hair. As you can see, I'm doing a very sketchy outline here. Just to make sure I get all the proportions and everything right. So I'm going to be doing the fin just in this very basic shape so that I just know where I want it to be. And now I'm going to lightly rub out my drawing. Whoops, I may have accidentally rubbed out a little too much. But it doesn't matter because I can still see the lines underneath. Now I can draw a clearer, thinner line. In my next video, or in one of my next videos, I'm going to be looking at your guys' art. So feel free to send it to me, any of your drawings inspired from my videos, and I'll review it. So if you wanted to do the typical mermaid bra, you could do a little shell like I just did now. But I'm going to do more of an H2O style bra, where it goes over and like that. So as I was saying, send in any of your drawings, you can either send them in the comments or by mail and I'll review them and look at them and yeah, see what amazing work you guys have done. Okay, so here are the different kinds of tails that you can do for your mermaid. You can do the um, fish tail like that, you can do the sort of square strange tail like that. I'm, you can do a very sort of crazy tail with like more ridges and stuff, that's what I'm going to be doing. And you can even do a tail like this that has only one like flat thing. I'm going to be doing a sort of more crazy, like, I, I call this a lion's mane tail, but you can honestly do whatever you want.
so for the scales uh, I'm you can do any pattern you want really but what I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be doing a very uneven sort of pattern like this so that it gives it a more natural look you can just do lines but I'm gonna go for a more uneven look When you get to around the knee or wherever your tail bends, make sure you let the scales bend with it. It really depends what colour you paint your tail, if you do paint it, but you don't have to be that precise with the scales. If the colour is light, you'll be able to see them easily, and if the colour is dark, you won't. So I'm doing a brush kind of just randomly, you can make it into a shell, you can make it into anything you want. Here's a close up of how I draw the hand. So I'm drawing the thumb that goes round the brush, and then the other fingers on the side there. And then make sure you do the wrist well. And here's how I do the hand holding the hair. Really think of how the hair would fall in her hands if she was really holding it. You can practice with your hair if it's long, or just look up pictures on the internet. Be careful though, because if you look up pictures on the internet, they can be a little bit creepy. Draw her hair kind of messy because she doesn't go to the hair salon all the time. It's not perfect, remember that. For her face I'm going to be drawing her eyes closed as if she was humming to herself. And uh, you don't really have to worry about the details if your drawing is as small as mine. But I'm just going to be doing a little snub nose like this. And little lips with a little smile. As if she was humming to herself. And the eyebrows tell quite a lot. So it kind of looks like, yeah, she's singing. So now I'm going to be drawing the lines on the tail like this. And just go over the rock again. Time to colour it. So I'm using my Pro Markers. The video where I tested all of them is in the description. Um, 
As you can see, normally the Pro Markers dry very smoothly, but I'm going to be trying to make them not dry quite that smoothly, so that I can get a more rockish effect. I'm using the thicker end and alternating between using it sideways and front on so that I get a thinner versus a thicker line. So I'm not being very like rhythmic in my colouring in just so like I said I get a more rocky effect. And it's kind of working. Okay, so now time for the mermaid herself. I'm gonna start with her fin and I'm gonna be coloring it dark blue with this blue that I think is so pretty when it dries. I wanted to do a little line in between of the two fin things, but as the pro markers are kind of, they spread, I didn't manage to. So instead I just did half the tail blue and the other half, <laughs> a sort of dark, greenish blue as you can see. Comment down below what colour you would want your mermaid tail to be. I would want mine to be dark blue definitely, in these kinds of shades. Now for the actual tail. I'm doing this sort of turquoise blue along the side and then I'm going to grab a lighter shade and just do it around the side and just play around with the different colours you have, you know. I'm also just going to draw some quick algae onto the rock with little strands here and there. Now I'm going to use this blender and blend in between her stomach and the tail and just here and there where I want the colours to be a little more blended. So as you can see the blue I used on the fin has now dried into this lovely colour which I just think is so cool. Okay so for her hair I'm going to using, be using yellow so we're going to be making her blonde. I'm not going to colour her whole hair in yellow because I'm going to leave strands of orange in it, like this. And honestly it doesn't have to look perfect because she's magical so you can even add like colours like green and blue and whatever colours you want into her hair. I'm now going to be doing her bra which is going to be just dark blue. And giving her little red lips. Looks like. Oh no, we're not done. So we're going to be drawing, uh, outlining some of the lines with this thin black pen. So going around the fin and around the tail, around basically her whole body. Looks 
looking like. I don't know. So I'm just adding a little bit of detailing around the fin. And then it looks like we are done. Thank you guys so much for watching don't forget that i subscribe to the first person who comments on my videos so make sure you're there when that happens if you have any questions you can mail me the my mail is here or it's down in the description if you want you can also comment if you're early enough oh make sure to subscribe hit the bell icon so you're notified when i post a new video thank you so much for watching bye don't let this confinement to get to you. We'll make it through together. Bye.